Let's balance the equation Al plus H2O. This is aluminum and this is water, but this is water in the form of steam, so it's very hot. If it's just regular water, you'll get different products. There's a link in the description and at the end of this video for that reaction. But here we're using steam. So let's count the atoms up first. We have one aluminum, two hydrogens, and one oxygens in the reactants. And the products, two aluminums, three oxygens, and two hydrogens. Normally I'll leave oxygen till last, but since aluminum's all by itself, let's leave that till last, because when we change the aluminum here, nothing else will be changed, just the aluminum. So oxygen, it looks like we could put a three in front of the H2O. Two times three, that'll give us six hydrogens, but one times three, that'll give us the three oxygens. Those are balanced. For the hydrogen over here, we can just put a three as our coefficient, two times three, that would give us six. The hydrogens are balanced, and then the aluminum all by itself. Put a two here, one times two. That gives us two, and that's balanced. So now the equation is balanced. If you were to write the states, aluminum is a solid. We know that hydrogen, that's a gas. Then this water, we said that it was going to be steam. It was going to be hot, so it'll be in a gaseous form. And aluminum oxide, that's going to be a solid. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Al plus H2O. But remember our water here, that's going to be steam and it's going to be gas. Thanks for watching.